Welcome back to Fun the Bench. Everybody's always there. And today we are off to the Halifax Card Show, leaving from Moncton, New Brunswick, heading down there, uh, about two and a half hour drive or so. And uh, yeah, it's a two day card show. Pretty excited about that. See how it goes. See if I decide to save for both days or not. As of right now, I do not have a table uh, registered or anything like that. But according to the showrunner uh, and the map he sent out, there were two tables that were not spoken for yet. So uh, it's a big show. It's like 150 tables overall. Um, so I might be able to sneak my way into both of those. I did bring everything in case. So I got my showcases. I got my value box. I got my um, slabs and everything else uh, in the car packed up just in case I can get a table. Um, but it might be a different video. Uh, maybe I just do a little bit of recording, uh, on the phone and I just do more recording of walking around everything else. I'm not one of those fancy guys. I do not have somebody to videotape for me, uh, in that like third person, uh, kind of thing. It is me, myself and I, uh, so hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, we're going to take a trip down from Moncton. You guys get to see a little bit of scenery on the way and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, here we go. Picked up the two telos, get the eight and the optical nine. What are you looking at? Package one. I'm looking at Jones, and then I don't know what you have on the track. Uh, I'd have to look it up. I don't know what I have. I don't know what he goes for now. Seth Jones, I think he's right around there, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. I know he's getting some of the hype with uh, Bedard and stuff, but. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I find service has been really terrible. Yeah, so that's, I'm on the Wi-Fi, but it's like 25 US for the last, uh, those are a while back. That's May and April. So twenty five forty eight US and twenty six dollars US. Okay. And then Paterka French. Oh wow, he went down too. So he's twenty five. There's only not really any sales. There's a nine that's sold for yeah. thirty. April 13th, 10 April 13th, 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 April 13th,
it's bad. I don't know why this. They must have had sold some recently. I'm gonna keep scrolling. Sometimes I find eBay is glitchy. Yeah, because there's one on Com C that was a regular young gun that sold June 20th for 10 bucks. Yeah, because like his regular young gun sells for 10. Yeah. Like those are all June 20th, whatever. So weird. Why is it low? I thought it'd be more than that, but I don't know what you're thinking. Um, his regular young gun seems to be selling for like 10 to 15 bucks. I just doubled like 25. Okay. Could so, you do 20 on it? Sure. It's a little yeah, yeah, the top. Yeah, I do 20 on it. I like him too. I do too. I liked him coming out of the. Uh, uh, like when I looked at the, ch the checklist for them last year. Yeah. Before he even like popped off, I was like, I think he's a sneaky one from this. Uh, he was just one of those guys that bought too. Like I pulled him like when I first took a couple packs on the out. Yeah. $2 yeah. No, it was him and uh, Jake Neighbors is my. Yeah, yeah. I I thought he was gonna be do so good. And he he can't. I think I think I think his first game he came out and scored a goal. I was like, I was right. I was right. And then he just went like cold, like yeah. <laughs> just nothing, no, nothing for like 15 games. I was like, okay, apparently I'm not gonna win them all. So. It's, it's such a high risk, high reward investing in players. Yeah. I invested in 15, 16. Daniel Sprung was my guy. Oh. And that, that was the worst all, thing all, all he could do was score for the Islanders. Oh, yeah. Just, just ripped it up. Yeah. Even now, like, he, he put up some good points this he, year. He did pretty good this year. I actually kept some of it. Even but like, it's one of those things, it's it's but it's all about the hype. All these nice high end cards of them, I just dumped them. I sold Brad a good chunk of the collection. A lot of it, like, it's, it's so weird. Like, even if you think the guy's going to be so good, like, it's almost worth it just to sell him unless he's like a PC guy. Yeah. It's like, it's almost just like you get him, it's like, yeah, he could do, he could go up, go up, go up. It's like, after that first year, like, nobody gives a shit about them anymore. Unless they're tearing it up. Unless they're tearing it up. But even then, like, you look at all these guys that, like, look at Braden Point. No, I don't even want to talk about Point. That was another guy I invested in. I still, I still believe in him wholeheartedly. But it's like, he's an awesome player. He's a two time Stanley Cup champion that, like, Produced in the playoffs, like yeah. putting up like 25, 28 points, whatever yeah. it was in the playoffs. Is like, this is a guy that should be like right up there, like a thousand dollar young gun. Like, yeah. why isn't he a thousand dollar young gun? It's like, yeah, and he's not a really 300 good. and 350 young gun, whatever the heck he is. It's like, yeah. for a 10, I think. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, it's like, what the, f what the heck do you mean? Well, even like, him too, McKinnon went down. Yeah, tell me that. It's like, it's like, oh, uh, McKinnon, we need, he needs the Stanley Cup, needs the Stanley Cup, wins the Stanley Cup. Half. Yeah. I, I don't get it, and it pisses me off. I bought I bought my my PSA ten of them at like sixteen hundred bucks, like for my PC because like I, yeah. I'm an ass fan. So I was like sixteen hundred bucks, and I had I had another one here yeah. at the show before the season last year. Yeah. I had it for eleven hundred bucks. I thought it was pretty fair. Twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. I said I'll do eleven because somebody offered. They're like I give you a thousand. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Like I, yeah. I don't do like ten fifty. I'm like. Ah, like 11 like it's yeah, it's I don't really want to buy it no it's, it's McKinnon we're in Halifax I'm like oh it'll be it'll sell for sure yeah and didn't sell and then it was like boom 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 I was like oh my god that was like a $700 young gun PSA 10 whatever it is like drives me nuts so awesome thanks man no problem buddy appreciate it good day buddy I do 480 PSA 10, Trevor Lawrence, Green Velocity. It's Halifax sports cards, that's what it is. Halifax games. I was gonna get it right eventually. Your buddy's been trying to get it for the last two shows. <laughs> I'm gonna go give him that for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks buddy, appreciate it. <laughs> So the guy's been trying to get that, uh, as you heard, try to get that um, PSA 10 Green Velocity Trevor Lawrence for the last like two shows. Uh, the guy he works for, uh, or works with, whatever, he just came bought it. <laughs> so that's a good deal, just take it. So uh, it's funny how that works. So one of those ones I picked up for 400 in Moncton. So it's 480, so 880 bucks on it.
Good little deal. Do you buy? Or just yeah, buy? I, I'll buy some stuff. Depending I, on what it is. I like Brock Purdy base rookies. Probably not Brock Purdy or the base rookies, but more I'm more looking for like numbered or colored or stuff like that for the most part. That one. The do with Yeah, I didn't even know that they were like one of them. Packs. Yeah, it's a sweet one. It's a Saskatchewan boy. Yeah, Prince Albert Saskatchewan. So say with the. Uh, let me see what it's. I don't know. Let's go for it. The last, last two were like 40, 33, 45 cross states, whatever that was. Alright, what'd you be? Um. Depending on what were you looking for. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm, I'm an Avalanche fan, so. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, so uh, it's from the bench on YouTube, but I do uh, do card openings, do card shows, PSA reveals. Uh, just eBay. Uh, or Amazon, Amazon, sorry. Uh, it was. Do with the cup. And, um, uh, there we go. Wireless lapel mic. Yeah, 80 bucks. Android, 80 bucks. 80. Prime, free shipping. No problem. Traded the one Dell PSA 9 Young Guns for PC thing for me. With Josh Manson, there with the cup, sweet picture of him in the field. And it's his hat form, so. Sweet, sweet hair. PC. Well, in typical from the bench fashion, the mic stopped working. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but did a deal with Doug the showrunner, did a PSA 10 NHL Records, uh, Cindy Crosby, and some cash. For the Matt Boldy Young Guns Acetate. Great deals as always, Doug. So that was day one. Good show overall. Uh, did some deals, bought some stuff, traded for some stuff, a little bit of everything in this uh, card show vlog. Sold the Trevor Lawrence Green Velocity PSA 10 for 480 Canadian. Uh, bought the Optic Hollow and the Blue Scope uh, PSA 9 and PSA 8 uh, from a guy when I first hit the show. Traded slash uh, paid cash for that Matt Boldy Young Guns Acetate a combo of uh, trade and cash, and then I sold some stuff, uh, just some more basic stuff, some twenty dollars stuff here and there. Um, got talked to a lot of people. Some stuff wasn't on camera. Uh, this thing I didn't bring my portable charger because I was running out of the house late uh, this morning, um, so I forgot the portable charger. So I was like, if this dies. I want to try to keep as much battery for the actual videos if possible uh, for any deals that are coming up. So even right now, uh, the phone just went down to 15%. So there you go. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if the video is continuing after I talk right now, you know there was a day two. Once again, just trying to decide if I want to come back or not. It's a five hour round trip. It's a long day. Uh, so it's 10 hours driving in two days. We'll see if I'm going to come back after tomorrow. But great show. A uh, great deal with Doug. He's the guy that runs the show uh, of King of Cards fame from doing a bunch of deals with him at the expo. Um, but yeah, anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe. And if this video continues, hope you enjoyed the part of day two. If it does not continue, you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you guys later.